About 10 years ago, I was sat in a governance session with some really good colleagues of mine, and we were reflecting on why the product we'd launched was not successful. And very quickly, we realized it was down to three things. Firstly, we didn't have a robust go-to-market strategy to make sure it was successful in market. Secondly, there was a big misalignment between the senior stakeholders and the core product team of how decisions were made. And thirdly, the technology solution was developed predominantly in isolation. And the frustrating thing for us is we had all the right ingredients, really good leaders and the right capability, but the missing component was the right approach. Over the last 20 years, I've been working in the technology and telco space, and I've been lucky enough to work in the US, in Europe, in the Middle East, and more recently in Australia, mainly around product and strategy roles. And in that time, the one thing I've really noticed is there's a rise of product-led organizations. And we all know the big ones like Google or Spotify or Amazon, but we're also seeing other organizations that have been around a lot longer also adopting this, whether they're in the automotive industry or retail and they're achieving growth and successful outcomes as a result. So in this video today, I want to focus on what do we mean by product-led and how this can add value to your organization. But before we do that, I think it's important to understand how the landscape has changed for these organizations. If I think back to the 2000s when I launched the first smartphone, the environment back then was very different to now. Companies on the whole were selling one product, so say a mobile phone. The technology systems were pretty new and the customers were fairly forgiving. If I think back to when I had my first smartphone, if it didn't work exactly right, I'd be fairly forgiving and say, oh, it's just, just new tech. And competition was relatively low. If we fast forward to now, it's totally different to what it used to be. Organizations are trying to sell multiple products and in some cases from different industries like insurance or MBN. The technology systems are no longer as new and it's harder and harder to launch multiple products at the same time. Also, competition is exponentially increased. There are lots of new entrants in the market, but not only that, there's organizations that you didn't think ever would be your competition. Just take AGL, for example, an energy provider, also launching broadband. And then to top that off, customers are very demanding now because they've got more choice, and so they want more for less. And so all this complexity we're seeing that the ones that are most successful in dealing with this complexity are the organizations that are shifting from that traditional sales-led approach to a product-led one. So all this complexity leads to a lot more new challenges for business leaders today. Just to name a few, how am I going to sell multiple products at the same time and make them successful in market? How am I going to take a strategy and very quickly um, translate that down to a product delivery team? And then while I'm doing all of that, how am I going to build empowered teams that are going to be motivated to drive towards the same vision. And this is where at IE we believe that the product-led approach is the solution to those problems. So what is the product-led approach? Well at IE we see it as two things. One, a balanced mindset, and the second is an approach to product development. So if we take the mindset first, it's really about balancing three things, customer, business and technology. So firstly, what is in it for the customer? Is it desirable? Will they want it? Also, is it feasible um, from a technology perspective? Are we using the right technology? And is it viable for the business? Is it the right thing to do for the business at the right time? So as you're building product teams to then launch a product, you need to make sure you're balancing those three areas because that's when you get the best outcomes. And the second thing is the approach. So as you're building the product, you know, very much from a customer and data-led angle, is how do you align that to the strategy. Without that, you're not going to get the support from the wider organization um, or the funding. But not only that, like we spoke about earlier, how do you build a go-to-market strategy? There's one thing, it being perfect for the customer, but to be successful in market, you need a robust go-to-market strategy. And we're very lucky at IE because we have the capability across strategy and executing digital products. And so as a result of that, we've seen the product-led approach in action successfully many, many times. So there's one thing knowing what you need to do. You, know, you need a product-led approach, but how do you go about it? And what I've seen is the key issue when companies have tried this and haven't been successful is alignment. And when we say alignment, we talk about T-shaped. So there's horizontal alignment and then there's vertical alignment. 
So the horizontal alignment is about getting all the relevant senior stakeholders together from day one and not doing the traditional thing which is developing say a strategy in isolation and trying to push it across the organisation. And then the second component is that vertical alignment. So once you've got a strategy or a vision that makes sense to those senior stakeholders, how do you translate that down from that sort of grey space all the way down to the black and white delivery space and not lose any context? So over the years I've worked out what works and what doesn't. And what's really nice now working at IE is how we can help different organisations not make the same mistakes. Only last week I was presenting at one of our bigger clients to close off the alignment stage of our product-led approach here at IE. And it struck me that the atmosphere in the room was quite upbeat, both from the stakeholder group, but also from the product team. And I asked why, and it really came down to that they felt higher confidence that they were actually gonna achieve the outcomes that they wanted to. And it was because they were aligned between the senior stakeholders and the product team. And that was really the key step before they then moved on to the, the delivery. Thanks for listening. And if you want help with the product-led approach, please do reach out, we'd love to hear from you. And the way we work at IE is really in collaboration with your teams and ours. And we've got proven diagnostics, workshops, frameworks that can really help align your senior stakeholders all the way through to delivering digital products and successful outcomes, not just for your business, but also for your customers.